My name is Phyllis Bright. I'm the owner of the flag shop in the Stony Plain Road and Area Business Association. Road area. Uh, in the mid 90s, my husband was an engineer and looking for a career change. I was a teacher and looked for small businesses and this popped up on our radar. It was already in the area. Um, and so we bought it. And when we, when I made the decision to move, I wanted to stay in the Stony Plain Road area because I think it's a really wonderful area to work in. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I found a place in the area to move. It took a while, but I finally found one. I'm sure it's not any different than any other area. There are people who will um, tell us that we have challenges in that area. Every area has challenges, both good and bad. Um, we are a destination business rather than people walking up and down looking, looking for businesses. So it, it works well for us because we're pretty accessible um, yes, there are challenges, but um, I like that there are a lot of different people who come in. There are people who do come in who live in the area and are happy to talk to us about living in the area. And there are people who come from all parts of the city. Um, I think sometimes Stony Plain Road gets a bad rap. But through the grapevine, I had heard about some people who were interested in planning events in the area. We got together and we named the organization the Jasper Place Gateway Foundation because we felt that Stony Plain Road was the gateway to the West. And our logo was a rainbow, which um, in some of our um, graphics, was placed over Stony Plain Road as an archway to the west part of the city. Um, we planned some really fun events. We were all volunteers. Um, I'm not sure where our funding came from to buy things like um, paper plates and cups for various events. Um, we had um, the Dirt Buster Derby, which was um, an event that swept the streets in the spring. And we had teams and we, um, we worked against each other to see who was the most efficient. We had um, an event that utilized the parking lot at what was then Grant McEwen is now the Orange Hub. And it was a, a chalk drawing event. And we had tons of people who came and drew pictures on the concrete parking lot. Um, we had lots of different events and it was just a lot of fun. And that kind of really got me interested in the area more so than I had been and um, allowed me to see all the benefits of being in, the, in that area. In the 25 or so years that I've been on uh, in the area, first on Stony Plain Road, now a couple of blocks away. I've seen a lot of changes um, for the better. It's still, we still don't have the reputation that we deserve, but I think because of committed people, um, the revitalization group of people, um, the uh, business association group of people, people who really want to plan events in the area to draw people to our area. Um, I think it's become a really strong, vibrant community. Um, there are a lot of, of shops that perhaps 25 years ago wouldn't have considered moving into our area, but are now here. And while there are a number of vacant uh, biz buildings, that's probably due more to the LRT construction than to anything else. 
I know a couple of other businesses who have had to move for whatever reason and have stayed in the area. And I think that says a lot about our area.